What up, guys and gals? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are going to cover off how to get someone set up in Go High Level. Go High Level is an amazing platform, very powerful in outreach and uh, keeping things organized. Um, it's a little hard to get set up in the beginning, but we're going to take you through how to get it all set up. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the like or subscribe button. Uh, we're going to be sharing some really good info here. Um, if you are a digital marketer or a marketer, um, you can use our referral link and we will send you a uh, 14 day free trial and uh, three of our snapshots and also give you an hour call to uh, cover off some of this stuff. If you're interested, it's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, help support the channel. So thanks so much for tuning in. And um, if you want to book a call with us to discuss if, if you need marketing needs, uh, just go to guestbrands.com. Uh, they'll help you out there. Um, you can also go to my guest builder, some awesome automation and uh, robot outreach and things like that on that one. So having some fun with uh, the digital world. Um, we're going to cover off today um, a few things, but I'll have something in the next video to share with you. Thanks so much again for your time and enjoy the video. Alrighty, so welcome back. Uh, don't forget to hit that referral link. Uh, helps us support the channel. And so here we are with the missed call text backs. It's actually inside of your profile settings in there under business info. Um, so you're going to have a stock message here. Um, what I would normally add is my booking link or some sort of uh, you know call to action or or send them somewhere to. Uh, to get a little bit more out of it. But this is a missed call text back. So some, when someone calls your phone number that we've just set up for you, um, it'll get a missed call text back within one minute of uh, their call. So um, a really good feature, especially to keep people to go, you know, stay with your brand instead of scrolling through Google to uh, find the next person that they've just located that does a similar project to you. Um, so with that said, this does not need to be embedded into the website like the next video we will have for you in the web chat widget, which is actually uh, embedded into the footer or the body of your website. So I hope this helps. Um, again, this is in the business info. info. There's, there's some uh, valuable information above here, so I won't scroll up, but um, that is where you find it and where you manipulate it. Well, you will have to save it. I always tell people it's good to send a text to yourself. So throw your info in here, send that text to yourself, make sure it's working. Always test, test, test. All right. Enjoy the next video. Thank you. All right. So this video is going to be about how to get you set up in your dashboard at app.guestbrands.com. So here we are here in uh, your website. I actually added in the code here, it's snippet widget code into the uh, body and HTML here. Um, I'm actually going to remove that because as you can see here, you're, you've already got the, let me just zoom in there so it's, uh, so you've already got the web chat widget here. However, since you haven't downloaded the app and I know you're on your way to Jamaica, um, it won't do any good to have a phone number because people will just text it. And if you haven't lo logged into the Lead Connector app, you won't be able to see their messages and they might get confused and leave. So hopefully the form fill on your website will be adequate for the next couple of days. If you're fully off, no big deal. I completely understand. Um, so what I do in your dashboard here for your website is I actually grab the code um, from my dashboard here. I'm actually going to use this chat web chat bubble and I can go in, I can copy this code. If I actually want to change this message here, um, I can easily do that. I just need to re-add the code because the code has this message in it embedded. So if we choose to change this later, just remind me to go back into your website and change that. So as you can see here, there's also a web chat window, um, which is a little bit more customer service-ish. Um, I kind of like the web chat bubble because it kind of gets people, you know, if they have questions, they can ask you immediately and you can get a response. The other one's more of like a, it's kind of like an email kind of, uh, Kind of strategy. So the web chat bubble is awesome um, and will help you get some uh, some questions answered and hopefully send people to either your booking page or your um, calendar for an invite. So 
what I'm gonna do here is get this code. As I said before, I would just go into the settings, into the head HTML, and I would drop that code in here. So because we're gonna remove that, I'm just gonna save it. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back into republish your site. And just to double check here, we will go back, see this web chat widget here. If someone is to hit this, they could reply. But since we just removed that, it should go away. Boom, all right, cool. So now, now that you're set up in our dashboard, what we wanna do um, is you have an email uh, newsletter drop in here. It's hard to find and people probably won't be be adding stuff to it. What you can do is is create a pop-up, like um, a, a, basically a pop-up uh, form that's gonna be your email catcher. Um, what I wanna do though with that one is have it part of your new, uh, new website or not new website sorry your new uh your new portal so that all your leads can come into your conversations here so your dashboard will look very similar to this when you get logged in um there's a lead connector app which has a shortened version of this but it's very much functional with a telephone um, you can set up all sorts of stuff sms texts people uh, you can link in your gmail so when you get into this dashboard i want you to go into this launch pad this launch pad is essentially where you're gonna connect with all of your, your things. So if your Gmail, um, Google My Business, or your Gmail account you wanna connect through here, then we can help you claim that Google My Business and get you all set up. Once you've got that done, um, you'll be able to do Google Business posting, um, which lasts like 18 days, and it's kind of a good thing for businesses to do and be found on Google. Um, the other thing you want to do is Facebook Connect. So you're going to connect your Facebook and your Instagram here. So any messages that you receive on Facebook and Instagram through your business account um, or your Liquid Wanderer account um, will pop through here and you'll be able to, to, uh, to communicate there. You could also connect your Stripe account if you have one. I think you said you were signing up for Stripe, which allows you to text to pay people, which will be pretty awesome. It's, it's something that I use regularly uh, to be able to send somebody an invoice to pay uh, immediately whether it's a deposit or or other is super functional um, yext is something that you can sign up for it's going to get your business uh, into 70 directories um, you know yahoo um, bing.com um, yellowpages.com a bunch of ones that you wouldn't think outside of the yelp Google and some of the other big ones. So would be very helpful to get your business listed across 70 plus directories. Um, it's a good way to get some traffic straight away. Uh, and that's about it for that. So you've also got this dashboard and this is kind of like a summary of, of what you've done or people in your pipeline and things like that. So um, don't really need to worry about that too much straight off. The main piece that you'll probably spend most of your time on is called conversations. Um, right now you have zero conversations and all that stuff is just kind of like blank. But as you, uh, I set you up that phone number, so I'll text it to you so you can log it in, uh, lock it in. And then essentially when you are in here, you'll be able to make templates, um, and save them. And essentially you don't have to recreate the wheel that way. So if you want to create like a, a welcome message or some sort of nurture campaign via text or email, we can do that. I don't have you set up on email yet, but it's not that hard to do. Um, I figured you're just probably going to use your uh, info at the Liquid Wanderer for now. We can come in and connect that domain um, and do email, but a mail, mail gun is just a little bit finicky. So depending on how much you're doing mail, email, let me know. Um, if you're cold emailing, that's a big problem for the carrier that I have. Um, so we don't recommend that. And I would just stick with a Gmail account if you're going to do that kind of stuff and use Gmask. But um, if you have an opted in email list, say you've got you know 50 people that have opted in or people that you regularly email, we can definitely load you in your domain and uh, your sender score and everything is kind of related to that. So we can talk about that more. Um, for calendars, you can link in your Gmail calendar, and that's really easy to do here through the launch pad. Once you've got that set up, you'll be able to come in and kind of identify a calendar. You could even hook in a Zoom uh, link 
uh, it's a free account, 45 minutes. That's usually what I do is just send people to my uh, calendar, which books them on my Zoom link um, for con consultations or, you know, people wanting to book book with you and you want to have a phone call. You can easily just do a phone call too, but if you're going to do a screen share or anything like that, I would highly recommend doing Zoom. It's pretty easy. You can always scratch the Zoom call that you're in and drop the person a new link to go beyond that 45 minute mark if you do have a successful call and you need to hash out some stuff. So your contacts are really uh, housed in here. Um, there is a way to go into your Gmail and download via CSV file and upload um, and, and add that file here and do add contacts. Um, there are a lot of options within here. Um, from adding tags to people that'll allow you to enter them into campaigns or workflows. Um, there's a lot of different sort of follow-up methods that we can use with some of this stuff and it's a super powerful tool. So um, as for contacts now, we just wanna make sure that we're, all of our leads that come in through our website should be putting new contacts in so you can easily find them. And then once they do load in here, we can add them to what's called an opportunity. Um, for opportunities, we've got, you know, sort of a, a flow of if somebody's entered as a lead, get back to that person. Um, did they respond? Yes or no. Did you get a call booked with them? I mean, it's basically a, like a like pipe drive. If you've heard of pipe drive before, it's just a, a CRM manager that basically just qualifies people as uh, a lead. And then when, when they're when they're uh, in here, um, we can move them up the pipeline. So let me see if I have another one in here I can show you. I don't have any other ones locked in here. Um, okay, I, can, I think I can show you this one. Let's see. Oh no, because you're not. Yeah, I, oh, here it is, Build Outreach. Okay, so I only have this one, but essentially as somebody comes in here, you would just enter in their information, or if they were already a contact, you could easily just add them in here. And then it's like a video game. You just move them up the pipe to two closed or, or one. We can shorten these uh, by a lot because there's a lot of information here that probably doesn't need to be uh, there for you. I usually have three or five steps, lead in, lead contacted, lead closed. Um, you know, something simple like that is really easy, and that way you don't lose track of anybody that's waiting a week or two to figure out, you know, with their husband or wherever their wedding's gonna be about the event. Uh, and you can circle back to that person and close them. Um, so payments, we talked about it a little bit. There's a Stripe account we can connect and then that'll allow you to create products inside of here. Um, and then that'll link with your Stripe accounts and people can actually copy that link and you can take that link for a product um, and put it on a button so when somebody can auto buy your themes like an e-com website um, So we talked about that a little bit. That'll be easy for you to get I think once we get you up and running um, and, and in terms of this part down here, you don't have to worry about this too much if you don't want to there's a lot here so I want, to, I want you to bite it off in chunks so um, this first uh, this first one actually is great because it links all your social media together from your Google My Business to your LinkedIn to your Instagram to your Facebook. You can link all that stuff together and then you can actually go in and do a post across all of those or you can schedule out posts for when you want to post to those. So you can set up a whole calendar for the month and every Monday, Wednesday at 8 a.m. Uh, it posts to all four of those or whatever you want to do there. So pretty awesome with the social media posting um, the automation stuff, our workflows, you really don't have to worry about that too much. I'm going to make you a folder here um, that's just basically um, a simplified version of this. There's 20 workflows here, and I'll kind of show you what, uh, what they are. So if I wanted to do a voicemail drop to a business, um, it's just basically a a workflow that it's going to follow. So as I add somebody to this campaign, um, it's going to send a voicemail drop to that person without the phone ringing. Um, they just basically get a voicemail. So there's some really interesting and fun workflows in here. They're a little bit confusing. Um, don't worry about this Fintax thing. I might actually take that out. Fintax is when you're sending out bulk cold emails and it's like, hello, hi, hi there. Uh, howdy and all four of those messages get broke up into separate 
um, identities for each email so it spins your email and your email um, spam filters don't pick up on it as well so it's good for cold outreach it's a little confusing to uh, to kind of create so I won't I won't bore you with that but there's ways to send out an SMS text workflow where it's going to add the, add the tag to your contact or you're just basically going to add a tag and create an opportunity and send out an SMS and then you can wait 24 hours send another offer to that person we can do that with email as well um, it's just really really powerful stuff so I just wanted to kind of go through some of that um, we just introduced blogs which are hosted um, on high levels websites uh, you have a different website but we can build you a landing page within um, this guest brands app so um, what I'm gonna recommend is maybe we do a form so that somebody fills out the form you get the information um, on them and can do set up a trigger to get back to them um, more to come on that one but that's where you're gonna find your chat widget details um, and we can change all this stuff and even this one here when somebody returns to your uh, website you can say hey welcome back and so that person feels a little bit more warm uh, about being back on your website to check out your services and your stuff um, we do reputation management through this piece so once your GMB is claimed and verified with your address um, maybe you want to do that soon I know you're you're in Jamaica for a week so maybe towards the end of the trip you could have it sent uh, to your mailing address your new mailing address and then you can maybe readjust where you want your address to be but this just sends out request uh, review requests so if you have some people that are friend your friends with and you add them into your contacts you can send them a text or you can send them an email to, set, to leave you a review um, and then every person that you do business with you can send a post uh, please leave me a review kind of uh, email and text flow so the reporting piece you don't really have to worry about too much as well um, I have pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover again you're gonna live mostly in conversation um, I think on the phone app you also have access to contacts and opportunities and then maybe calendar and those are like the four that you'll live in your dashboard your dashboard may look a little different than this um, and yeah don't forget to set up templates I mean if you're if you're setting something up now you can use it forever so that's really awesome um, and I'm saying like a, a welcome text or a nurture kind of welcome to my to my uh, uni my universe here um, trigger links are a little bit more complicated but essentially if somebody fills out one of your forms you can just send them a trigger um, you can activate a trigger so that when they fill out the form and submit that to you it's going to send them back whatever they're requesting whether that's 10 steps to digital marketing um, or you know claiming your Google my business whatever kind of PDF or literature you have maybe you want to create some sort of blog um, that would be fun to send them as like the you know top five things to do at a wedding get a get a bar cart for your wedding or something like that I don't know um, or we can talk about all that stuff I wanted to keep this under 20 minutes I think I've done that uh, for your site we've gotten the web chat widget off there again that's the body you're just gonna paste that code back in there whenever you get back and you want it there um, yeah so if you want to drive some traffic in here maybe we could talk about adding a blog post um, I think you're at 77 visits this month um, I know we're trying to get you know it's a game so getting to 200 and then doubling that trying to get you more bookings but uh, stay active on the social media we're at, actually offering um, TikTok ads now it's a $200 one-time setup and then we'll manage that for you in a targeted sort of platform for TikTok ads you need to create the videos but once you've done say three or four cool videos you can launch those to boost your business and get some people uh, to your website so that's fun the minimum budget there is six hundred dollars a month for the actual ads because they TikTok only allows twenty dollars a day because of their uh, policy so I've heard some people have gotten some great results I might start doing it for myself but just wanted to throw it out there uh, the service fee for that one is 400 a month 
So I think that's the first month, twelve hundred bucks, uh, six hundred dollars going directly to the ads, and then they optimize and review and give you stuff weekly. So kind of a progress report. Second month should be much better and only cost you, but I think this second month is going to be a thousand dollars instead. So. Let's chat. Uh, I know that's a little bit up front, but could get some, some good results. Um, other than that, though, you're all set up in the dashboard. You got a phone number, um, and I'll text you that number now so that you have it and can uh, start put, putting that places. You should replace it on your website and everything else when you're when you're ready to attend that phone number. But until then, have a great time. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and if you made it this far, leave a comment below. Um, also comment if you'd like us to make another video within the scope of GHL or, or another uh, free CRM that we'll leave the link down below for. Um, it's not as powerful as, as GHL in terms of uh, SMS and phone calling abilities, but it does a lot within emails and domains and funnels and that kind of stuff. So go check out uh, myguestbuilder.com. We're giving away 250 bucks in a raffle. Um, you can enter to win there. We also have a uh, Google business profile level up course, which we're offering. Um, that's an amazing course. It covers off the most important uh, piece of your Google, my business or Google business profile listing. So some lots of great secrets in there, including how to spy on your competition and see what categories and services they're offering. So you can match them or beat them. Um, check out all that great stuff. We also have another uh, link in the myguestbuilder.com um, to get to our automation and bots training. Um, really, really interesting uh, and well worth the value. Goes over how to make TikTok videos and ads as well as uh, Facebook automations, Instagram automations, Quora, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn automations. And some of this stuff is really, really powerful and uh, next level. So feel free to book a call with us uh, to, to hear more. Cheers.